All right, chili heads. Um, today is what February twenty third, uh, twenty nineteen. Um, I'm downstairs in my utility room. This is where my plants will go once I get them transplanted. I have a, a this T five light, uh, two foot by four foot, has eight bulbs in it. Uh, got adjustable hangers, so once I put the plants in here, I can bring this light down a little bit lower and then raise the light up as the plants get a little bit taller. But um, they this is six weeks ago since I I started the seeds. So today's the day, it's time to top those plants off. So let's go take a look and show, I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, well there you go, there they are. These are, these are six weeks now uh, since I started the seeds. And uh, I was away for a few days, so some of them, some of these, they didn't fare too well for a while. They got a little bit wilted, but uh, they're, they're coming back. They dried up a little bit. Uh, I had to go out of town, there's nothing I could do about that. But here's what we gotta do. Let me see if I can move in a little bit closer here. Give you an idea what we do, what we're gonna do here. Again, it's been six weeks. Now here's a, and I'll show you a picture here quick of, of what they look like when I thinned them out, and that was three weeks ago. Okay, there they are, three weeks old. Uh, right after I trimmed them down to one plant uh, per container each. But here's what we want to do. Uh, I got three sets of leaves. Here's one set. And here's your second set of leaves be here. And this would be your third set. Now some of these, some people prune them after the second. I always do it after the third set. So basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna take this whole top out. Let's see what, third set. So we wanna take this whole section right here. Yeah, it looks a little scary, but that's, that's pretty much what you do. And then what's gonna happen is each one of these are gonna branch out and I'm gonna do the same thing. When these when these branch out, when they get up to three sets of leaves or nodes is what these are called, when they get three sets on those, I'm gonna cut those off too. And this thing is just gonna be a, just a giant bush. So I'm gonna go through all these plants and do exactly that. And uh, that will, you'll get three, four times, maybe even five times the harvest out of your pepper plants by cutting these off like that, then you will just let them grow. And that's, that's about it. Now I'm going to get all these cut off and then we'll come back. All right, there you have it. I got all of them topped off. Um, this one in the back's kind of in a split earlier, so I'm just going to kind of leave it for now. I'll probably trim these a little more as time goes on. And you can see here, this they were already starting to get some flowers. Um, that's kind of crazy. But it, and when they do that, even once these nodes start getting a little bit longer, they'll start producing little buds and little flowers too. And you want to cut all those off. You don't, you don't, unless you want to grow peppers in your house, but I cut all those off. I cut quite a few off. And again, by, by taking this off, it stops that, that upper growth so much. And this thing is just going to, it's going to start bushing out from all these points here. And you're going to end up with this. I, I believe last year or last several years, I've gotten well over a uh, hundred peppers off of every single one of my plants, well over a hundred per plant by doing this process. If you don't do this, yeah, I, I kind of really doubt you're gonna get 50 peppers off of it, if you're lucky. But yeah, it's a, it's a phenomenal difference. There's no question about that. But that's it in a nutshell. It, it's pretty time these are six weeks old. Uh, since I cut the tops off, I'm gonna wait till next week and uh, transplant these and put them under some, some bigger light. But there you go.